Hello friends, welcome to the multiple choice question and answer series of certified in the risk and information system control presented by Let's Learn series set 30. Friends, let's start with the question number one. The question number one states, which of the following is the primary objective of a risk management program? The options are maintain residual risk at an acceptable level. Option B. Implement preventive control for every threat. Option C. Remove all identified risk. And option D. Reduce inherent risk to zero. The correct answer is option A. Maintain residual risk at an acceptable level. Friends, this option is correct because ensuring that all the residual risk is maintained at a level acceptable to the business is the objective of a risk management program right moving to the option b that is implement preventive control for every threat friends it is incorrect because the implementing control for every threat is not the objective of the risk management program the program considers known threat and determine that the risk response to those threats as determined by the enterprise's risk appetite and acceptance level. Coming to the option C, that is remove all identified risk. Friends, it is incorrect because a risk management program is not intended to remove any identified risk. Understood? Similarly, option D, that is reduce inherent risk to zero. Friends, it is incorrect because inherent risk the risk level of an activity business process or entity without taking into account the actions that management has taken or may take is always greater than zero right that's why this option is incorrect moving to the next question question two which states risk assessment technique should be used by the risk practitioner two the options are option a maximize the return on investment option b provide documentation for auditors and regulators option c justify the selection of risk mitigation strategies and option d quantify the risk that would otherwise be subjective the correct answer is option C. Justify the selection of risk mitigation strategies. Friends, let's discuss the options sequentially. Option A. Maximize the return on investment. Friends, it is incorrect because maximizing the return on investment may be a risk objective for implementing risk responses. Right? But it is not the part of risk assessment process. Moving to the option B, provide documentation for auditors and regulators. Friends, a risk assessment does not focus on auditors or regulators as primary recipient of the risk assessment documentation. However, risk assessment result may provide input into the audit process. Similarly, moving to the option C, that is justify the selection for risk mitigation strategies. It is correct because the risk practitioner should use risk assessment technique to justify and implement a risk mitigation strategy as efficiently as possible. Coming to the option D, that is quantify the risk that would otherwise be subjective. Friends, it is incorrect because risk assessment is generally high level right whereas risk analysis can be either quantitative or qualitative based on the need of the enterprise right that's why friends this is incorrect friends here we come to the end of set 30 of let's learn series multiple choice question and answer please do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates thank you